Howdy folks, today I'm going to teach you how to make custom stamina meters in Frosty Editor for PVC GDB2. First, open the UI folder, scroll down, open widget, single click the HUD folder, scroll down, and open stamina meter. Open the object, open the components, open the switch property string entity data, Add an item to string properties, open them, and put in the string whatever you want. I'm going to do mood shield for Citron's mood shield. Copy that string, open string compare entity data, add an item to compare strings, open them, and paste it here. Scroll back up, open the interface, add a new field, open the fields, now open your new item, and change the name to local variable 26. Change the access type to field access type target. In value, type C string, followed in quotes by your stamina meter's name, which for me is Mood Shield. Scroll up, add new property connection, open the property connections, open that new item, and set the source to the interface. and the target to switch property string. Set the source field to local variable 26. And set the target field to string in 25. Set the flags to 2. Scroll down. Add an event connection, open the event connections, open the new item, set the source to string compare, set the target to switch property string, Set the source event to the new string you made. And set target event to select string in 25. Lastly, change the target type to client. The next thing I'll do is find the mood shield buff. So I'll type in mood into the search bar. Open Gameplay, Weapons, Common, Single Click Buffs, and Open Shield Mode Mood. I'll add new buff effect, open them, click these three dots and create a new item, type in Stamina into the search bar, open this PVZ shared folder, select the UI Stamina Meter buff effect data, and hit Select. Open that up. Set the stamina meter name to your new string. Change min power threshold to 0 0.1. Max power threshold to 1. And check the box controls visibility. Go back to the search bar and type in mega laser. Open the mega laser buff. And copy the buff state controller. Paste it to your buffs, buff state controller. Open it up. The number and duration divided by the number in base decay rate determines how long the buff will last. So I'll change base decay rate to 14 because I want my buff to last 7 seconds. And I'll set subsequent duration consumption to 0. 
And of course, we'll save the project and call it Mood Shield Stamina Meter. Only thing left to do is to launch the game to see if our new stamina meter appears. Alright, activating Mood Shield. And the stamina meter has shown up. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 1.5k. Bye bye